getting quiet in here. It's getting quiet in here. But now, but now he said, having been set free from sin, and now having become servants of the Most High, you have your fruit resulting in set apartness, commonly called holiness. And the end of that, and I don't like the word in there because if you look at that word in, it also means the goal of that. Hello, somebody. The goal of what you're doing right now is what? Everlasting life. Woo! That's what we're going to get. Yes. Right now. That's the results. That's the results we're looking for. So if we want the results, we got to do what it takes to get the results. Yes. Isn't that right? Since he told us right here, you have been set free from sin, then sin does not possess you anymore. Hallelujah. What possesses you now is the Ruach HaKodesh. Hallelujah. Anybody here possessed? Yes. See, when you get possessed by him, you can't do what you want to do. No. You can't say what you want to say. No. You can't think what you want to think. No. And you can't be what you want to be. Hello, somebody. Just think about it. What did you want to be? I'm talking to y'all old heads in here. I ain't talking to the young ones. They still ain't made up their mind yet. <laughs> what did you want to be? And the question is, are you that yet? And we don't see yet that our lives were not guided by what we wanted to be, but he took the steering wheel and he put us where he wants us. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I had no idea of everything that I've done in this life that I was going to be able to do that. Never thought I'd own my own business. Never thought I'd be working for Shell Oil Company. Never thought I'd be in the Navy fighting in Vietnam. Never thought I would go through all of that kind of Never had that in my plan, but it was already set forth for me to go through that. So that I can be where I am right now. Doing what I'm doing. Didn't know none of that. But here I am in the midst of it all. Yeah. And very thankful to the Father who brought me here. But he done set us free from sin. Yeah. And when you were a slave to sin, righteousness didn't have anything to do with you. No, sir. But now that you are free from sin, righteousness got everything to do with you. Yeah. Everything you do, you want to do it right. Not my way, not your way, but his way. Yes. And he might not agree with you at first. Might be bitter mm. to start off. But the end result, don't be sweet. Yes. Yes. How many of y'all glad to be set free from sin? Yes. Why are we glad? Because Romans 6.23 Romans says, because the wages of sin is death. Yes. But the gift, the favorable gift of our Elohim is everlasting life. So what, he keeps saying the same thing over and over again. I got everlasting life for you. Yeah. Let me tell you what I got for you. But I'm telling you who I got it for. Yeah. Because everybody think they got it, don't have it. Right. They don't even think it. You see, they got a Kodesh spirit, or what we call a set-apart spirit, and then they got the church spirit. The church spirit makes you feel, makes you look, makes you act. Like you really got his spirit. Because see, the church spirit imitates his spirit. And it makes you think you're just as saved as you can be. And then you're going to stand before him and say, I did this and I did that. And then he's going to give you a sad comment that you don't want to hear. Depart from me. I don't know you, and I never knew you. All your life, clapping your hands, singing and, and jumping and, and preaching and teaching and, and sitting down working and, and cooking dinners for the pastor anniversary and, and, and selling cupcakes and, 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 and making them nice little tea cakes all for the pastor so he can have this and that. And, and the father said, what you doing for me? I asked you to do something for me, and you sat down on your laurels, and you won't do anything. But 
But the, you can get your name recognized. Oh, I gave the pastor this, and I gave the pastor that, like you did something great. What you did for you mm -hmm. Pastor can't save you. The one who can save you don't want to do anything what he has for you to do. But he's telling us right now, look what I got for you if you just do what I tell you to do. Look what I got for you. Let's look, let's look at this. Romans 8, verse number. No, no, before we go to Romans. Let's, let's go back to 1 John 5, 11. 1 John 5, 11. This is the witness that the Almighty has given us everlasting life, and this life is in the Son of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Now, hold on a minute. Now, let's look at that. Because everybody runs here. Oh, I'm in him. Oh, I'm in him. So therefore, you can't condemn me, Brother Isaac. You're telling me I'm going to hell. No, I'm telling you that if you don't repent, you're going to hell. Yeah, but I'm in him. Are you sure you're in him? Because that's what people always throw at you when you go to witness to them about not doing what the book said to do. I'm, I'm saved. I can't be condemned. Why? Because I'm in him. Who told you you were in him? What's your proof that you're in him? Prove all things. You got to prove to me. If you want me to follow you, show me what you're doing. Don't just tell me. Show me by your life what you're doing. Uh -huh. So let's look at this. He said, he said, the Father gave us everlasting life if we are in his Son. They come back with the retort from, from uh, Romans chapter 8, verse number 1. That's why the Father slowed me down. I was passing by that. See, Romans 8, verse number 1 said, Now there is therefore now no condemnation to those that are in him who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, now if you are in him, that means your carnality has ceased. Now you're walking after the spirit. Whatever the spirit directs you to do. And what did the Messiah say? Where the spirit comes from, where it goes, you don't know. But you know it passing by because you see a rustling of the leaves. But you don't know where it's going and where it comes from. You know the word, what he's telling you is, you don't know what I'm going to do with you the day or tomorrow. That's right. So if you're guiding your own life, you don't have the spirit guiding you. That's you doing your own thing. So who do you expect to pay you if you're not working for me? Who will pay you? I got this for you. And I told you I'd come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work. But you going to work for somebody else and expect me to pay you? Come on, God. That don't even happen in this life. Brother Blackwell will come, will come by, you know, the, the, the lawn company that he is, that he, 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 he is, he, the, he is that lawn company. Lawn, L-A-W-N, lawn, 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 But he come into your yard and, and cut your grass and you're going to pay me. It don't work like that? The Father has hired you. How many of y'all know he hired you? Chose you to work in his vine yard. Uh -huh. Then he said, Blessed is the one who I find so doing when I come. But when he come, he find you working in Satan's field. Mm -hmm. Guess what? He gonna give you Satan's pay. Uh -huh. <laughs> you don't want that. Well, you might not want it, but that's what you gonna get. <laughs> See, people, people think the father don't work according to what we want, how we feel, what we think about it. The father don't give a hoot about what you think about it. All he's concerned about what he said out of his mouth. That will come to pass. That will. Hallelujah. And it's always right. Yes. It's always right. Thank you, God. It's used. Y'all know used, don't you? Yes. They call it two. Don't have but one temple. Yes. And we're going to look at verse 21. 
I'm going to tell you what he just said. Keep yourself in the love of Almighty God. Now, who did he put back the hands of? Hello? Our own responsibility. Our own responsibility. No. Keep yourself. Does that sound remotely like work out your own salvation? It's in your hand, isn't it? So if you're going to hell, whose fault is it? Because he set it up that if you just follow what he's telling you, you're going to make it into the kingdom and he's saying, look what I got for you. He made it very obvious that all you have to do is your part because he's already done his. Uh -huh. He's already laid it out. Get who he, what the Messiah said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. No, no, I didn't win ahead of you so I can get this thing ready for you. Yeah. I got something you ain't never seen before. Hallelujah. Yeah. I got stuff you've never touched before. And one thing I want is some of that water that's flowing from the throne of the Most High. I want some of that water. Yeah. And I want to go to that yeah. tree that bears 12 matters of fruit every month. Yeah. I want to go to that other tree, hallelujah, that is called the tree of life. Yeah. I want to go and get me a piece of something that I've never had. Hallelujah. Yeah. Why would I want to run out to the world and not have tried everything the world got? Uh -huh. Hallelujah. I don't even try the jackfruit. Y'all don't even know what that is. Uh -uh. See, that's what I'm talking about. Alone. Jackfruit is a big fruit, look like a watermelon. Oh. And that thing is from the Philippine Island. And that thing is sweet. You spit it open, cut it into slices, and, and everybody was out there enjoying it, waiting for me to come out. And when I came out, they said, I said, what's that? Everybody enjoying the jackfruit. Is it good? Yeah, I got pieces here. But see, they didn't tell me the secret. See, I went over there and I took me a big old slug of that thing. He's like, yeah, super glue on your lips. Wow. They didn't tell me you got the oil on your lips for you, did it? But that thing sure was good. Yeah. But all I'm saying is, Earth can't give you what heaven has for you. Hallelujah. No matter how good the fruit is here, we ain't never ate from a tree that bear 12 mangoes of fruit. Yeah, Lord. One tree, 12 mangoes of fruit. That's right. Yeah. Every month is Every here. Month. Isn't that something? Yes. He said, look what I got for you. Thank you. Do you want it or do you want what you got out here? Hallelujah. I will, come on, say that again, brother. Everything he got for you. Now see that right there? You need to say that loud. Whatever well, everything he got for me. That's what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Everything he got for me. Right. I want mine. I want mine. Yeah. Keep yourself, you, 20, you 121, yeah. keep yourself in the love of the Almighty, looking for the compassion of our Master Yahshua. Yeah. How long? Unto eternal life. We got to keep running after him until he comes. You can't stop midway, halfway, three quarters away, get right to the gate. You can't stop like that. You're going to miss it. How many of y'all really want what he has for you? Because he's got it. And I can't wait to get it. He's bringing it. He's bringing it. All you got to do is wait on it. Isn't that right? Look what it says in John 3.16. Everybody ought to know that by heart. <laughs> For Yah Almighty so loved the world that yeah, yeah, yeah. he did what? His only begotten son. Gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believe it upon him. Believe it? Believe it upon him. Not 